can. Told ya. Disappointed! Okay, the trailer has been out for a day now. Three days as of this video. So let's check out the like dislike ratio. Starting with the core fan base in Latin America. Very bad from their reaction. Let's try Brazil. Wow. That's not bad at all. Ignoring the comments, that must make the developers feel in some way positive. Japan, negative. But that's not their target audience. Their target audience this time is North America. Not good. Some of that is people thinking it looks meh, and other is foreign fans seeing it there for the first time and downvoting it. In the end, it is not a good outing for the series. Why? There are about three reasons. I will go from least offensive to most. I see complaints in every language and online form of the voice acting. For America, I find them simply unimpressive and have shockingly not heard anything of the voice cast yet, which likely hints that they are unknown. Second is the overall look. For many, the typical CGI look is not what they wanted and at best look average in terms of animation. And the number one reason? Shun, now named Sean, has been turned female. Let's start with why. The reason why is 100% on the writer Eugene Song. He states, The big question, why change Andromeda? This one is all me. When we started developing on this new, updated series, we wanted to change very little. The core concept of Saint Seiya that makes it beloved are so strong. Most of it holds up well even 30 years later. The only thing that concerned me was the Bronze Saints are all dudes. Now the series has always had fantastic strong dynamic characters and it reflects in the tremendous number of women who are passionate about Seiya, manga and anime. But 30 years ago a group of guys battling to save the world with no girls around was no big deal. That was default then. Today the world has changed. Guys and girls working side by side is the default. We're used to seeing it. Right or wrong the audience could interpret an all male team as us trying to make a statement about something. There are plenty of female characters in the anime and manga. Mirin and Shayana are both incredible, but they are both powerful already. No one wants to see them turn into a bronze knight. Do we take an existing character like Saina, formerly named Sayoria, give them powers and turn them into our April O'Neil? Or do we create a new female character and have her join the team? Maybe. But I didn't want to create a female character that would stick out and be obvious, especially if she was not created naturally and has no character except to be the girl. Then we discussed Andromeda. Everyone agrees. An awesome character. What if the original was Andromeda Shun and our interpretation was Andromeda Sean? The more we developed it, the more we saw their potential. A great character with a great look. The core concept of Andromeda wouldn't change. She would have her chains to defend herself and her friends, which she learned from protective brother who taught her how to fight. If you think this is weird and don't like it, I get it. Even within Toya, there were plenty of, are you sure about this? A lot of hardcore fans of Shun really love Shun, but I hope Hope you will be willing to check it out when it's available and see what you think. I know some, many, of you already hate it. Even in Toya, Andromeda was their favorite character and this feels like a slap in the face. So if you hate it and me and say this new series is not for me, no problem, I understand. I appreciate your passion for Seiya. And that's all the important bits. And before I say anything, the comment below explained it pretty well. With due respect and thank you for your work on the adaptation, many fans are fine with the gender change but not on who the character was. Shun was a character was showing a feminine sensitive boy who could still be strong, which was still and is a progressive character. The fact that Shun was a boy with those feminine characteristics is more progressive today then Shun changed to a girl. Any of the other four bronze being girl would be more progressive. I hope the creators recognize this critique and handle this better in the future. She gets it. This is not the meme situation of changes like Ghost in the Shell or the Death Note guy. The gender of Shun is important to the character. He's more than chains and pink armor. A character so sweet and pure he risks getting hurt in order not to kill his enemy. He is the most unique character in the series and the fact that he is male is tied to that. So what you did was not change the character. What you did was remove the character altogether and instead added your own OC inspired by the original character. Now I should say thank you for addressing this fast. You clearly knew the reaction this would have. You recently deleted your Twitter. I can only imagine due to the bombardment of questions from upset fans. Sorry if they went a little too far. And I also should say people should expect 
expect changes like this in a American remake. Are the racist and sexist fans upset at just the general idea of a sex change? Yes, unfortunately. But open-minded fans like myself would have expected and understood changes like turning Hyoga into female that would help the character stand out, Say being female might help the character, Shun being gay might help his character. This was simply a bad choice dude, done for little other reason than hey, it's 2018 and this character is effeminate so kinda a low hanging fruit on who the gender swap, if you don't think about it that much. So in this push to be more progressive, you arguably made a very regressive choice. This with the release of Saint Seiya Shu, a manga and anime dedicated to an all female cast that comes out months before this simply makes the choice even more bizarre. Okay, I really hoped I explained the reaction and my opinion and the opinions of fans very well. Breaking away from Shun thing, I'm disappointed as an English fan that the series is not treated right by Netflix and also feel bad for foreign fans that have asked for a proper remake or at least something akin to Dragon Ball Kai for years. Well that's it guys, my next video will be much more happier as I review Saint Seiya Shu Manga. Now please like, comment, and subscribe.